Hello, today I'm going to be talking about The Book Thief by Marco Zizak. This was originally published in 2005. Um, it is narrated by Death, the narrator is Death. It's about a girl called Liesel growing up in a small town near Munich during World War II. So it's 1939, nine-year-old Liesel um, is being taken by her mother um, along with her brother to this foster family in this fictional town of Molking? Molking? Mulching? I know that they spell out exactly how you're supposed to say it in the first, like, chapter, but I don't remember. Molking. Um, sadly, her brother dies along the way. Uh, her parents are communists, so that's why they're being kind of left to this foster family. So, um, Liesel, age nine, arrives in Molking um, and is handed over to the Hubermans. That's Rosa and Hans. They have two adult um, children. Yeah, it's almost kind of like serialised in the way um, it, the main events happen. There's chunks of Liesel like playing football with the, the kids in the neighbourhood or like going to school and being in Hitler Youth, learning to read with her foster father hands, stealing books from the mayor's wife, um, and inevitably, because it's a book about World War II, hiding a Jew in a basement. I know this book was is so beloved by so many people and I had really high expectations for it but to be honest it just didn't charm me. I There were so many elements about this that I was like oh if I was 14 I would love it but now just like come off as a bit juvenile to me. Every chapter starts with oh sorry every part um, starts by like listing the titles in in that chapter. So that's like the kind of thing that is they're like quirky and fun but now I'm just like seriously come on this isn't doing anything to the story. There's a lot of sections of like weird formatting where death like intervenes. We'll talk about death in a minute. And there's also two sections of the book that are like little comics, um, which is cute, but like, it's just cute. There's some like super whimsical stuff when Liesel gives this, this man, Max, like a cloud. And it's like, okay, totally appropriate for like the nine to 14 year old that she is in the book. Uh, but it didn't like read like adult fiction with those kind of elements. So Death is just like a kind of light comedy character. Um, and for me, that really didn't work, contrasting with him him being like, I, you know, that night I picked up thousands of souls, but then also kind of just like seeming, like it feels like he's taken a special interest in Liesel. The book starts with the three times um, he meets Liesel. Uh, so these are like three events that happen in the book where Liesel is around someone or some people have died. Um, and he's he takes them through that. And basically on the third event, uh, Liesel had, had written down her, her life story in a book called The Book Thief and Death like finds it and picks it up and saves it for her. And then is recounting like this story with his own embellishments years later. But yeah, the, the kind of like horror of what Death is, that juxtaposition of it being like kind of a light, sweet character um, just didn't work for me. And also there is so much premonition in this book and I've talked about premonition a lot on this channel. I think it can be incredible when used really sparingly um, and really purposefully, but it feels like death is randomly like, oh, this person dies or like this thing's gonna happen. Like, oh, they don't know about this yet in a way that's kind of like haphazard and doesn't actually drive the plot or intrigue you. Um, I just, I think that the yeah, premonition was poorly used in my opinion. One thing I did really like this book, um, and perhaps it's a feature of just like the length of it, this is 550 pages long, um, is that it's, there, it manages to create these kind of nostalgic moments without them ever actually being nostalgic. Some elements of whimsy, like the, the giving a cloud as a gift thing really annoyed me, but some of them I found like really nice and endearing. Uh, like Rosa, her stepmother is always calling her Sal Mensch. She's like a wonderful, like easy to understand character that by the end you feel really warmly towards. And there are a few characters where you're just, where you just like really like them by the end. I didn't really find that Liesel was one of them, but like her best friend, Rudy, you just kind of love Rudy. There's also an accordion, which sets off a lot of the plot of the story, uh, which is just like a quirky instrument. Um, but like by the end, you're like, oh, hearing hands play as accordion. Yeah, you know, you know, there are some bits of it that are really like that. I also need to admit, I just don't like World War II books full stop. Um, I feel like amongst my generation, there's there's this sort of like intrigue of wanting to know a lot about like the Holocaust and, you know, be aware of our like the past horrors so we don't enact them again and whatever. But like Hitler narratives, 
had enough of that. Get that still every day. And I don't want to think about Hitler anymore. It's not a situation and time that I enjoy seeing the perspective of. But Charlotte, why did you read The Book Thief then? This was a bit book club book, just FYI. Um, anyway, so there were lots of elements to the book that I found like quite sweet. Um, maybe I was expecting a slightly more adult narrative, which is like my, been my main blocker with this book. Um, but yeah, it's sweet. If you want to forget that we're in a global pandemic and read about World War II, maybe this is the book for you. Um, if you have read it, as I'm sure many people watching this video um, already have, tell me about the first time you read it and, and what you loved about it. Because um, yeah, I'd love to hear that. So this has been a video about The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.